we're done with that. Now let's go to our next tab. Now our next tab is, Scott, you got multiple sequences, right? We're gonna make three sequences. We're gonna go to name this one, Fire. And this program works just like a sequencer, like you would think it would, right? So let's see here. These, by the way, go by audio waves. My microphone is not currently activated because I'm recording uh, with it. So let's go ahead and do, oh, that's kind of trippy. Let's do that. That looks pretty cool. And we're going to do the first color is going to be like an orange. There we go. And we're going to do that one too. And the second color, we're going to have red and like a weird creamy type color there too. There's our fire. We're going to make another one and we're going to call it Wada. So we got water, and I'm going to go to my videos tab now. And the ring's my personal favorite. And then we'll do, we can even kind of put it on top there too if we need it to. Okay, so on the mixing tab, we are going to choose, remove. we're going to have the regular mask mode as all default. I'm just going to choose remove black. Now it doesn't show it on here because this only shows the current layer preview. Um, I would be able to go into here and then see that it's mixing the way I, I want it to. So we've got that done. Let's go back over here. And let's see, I have one more here that I've kind of made, but I forgot to name it. So we're just going to call that Earth. Okay. We have our patterns. Let's see what we have here. That's one of my favorites there. Okay, so we've got that one. Now we go to the third tab. And I'm going to have our fire, water, and earth. And this works almost actually just like a sampler would. So we're first going to start with fire and then water. And then you can actually see the effect there in all its glory. Obviously, the more panels you have, the more higher res this looks. This tunnel effect doesn't look good, clearly. So we are going to go into our water. We're just going to nix that tunnel effect. And there it is right there. So it shows you that in action. And we can cross fade over here to our fire. There we have, we have our fat fire that we did. And notice that the first one just doesn't, I mean, it's changing too fast. And the first one doesn't look very good. You really can tell. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go into our fire I'm just gonna go there move that over here again literally just like a sequencer we're gonna go into our visuals and we're gonna make the first color that looks kinda cool And now it's going up and down. Now, I apologize the GoPro doesn't quite catch it as good as it should, but you get the idea on that, right? But now let's go ahead and change this side to our Earth. There it is. You're seeing it there. And bam, magic happens. So the cool thing about this, obviously, you know, if you're working solo, yes, you could, you know, have some pre-made stuff if you wanted to, but this becomes a lot more fun when you have somebody else that is running this just to make things a little bit easier but if not just keep your crossfader on one side and you can go there and you have multiple banks too so it's not just these you've got 16 pages of these banks now that was with led master let's go ahead and close this guy for a second and let's open media master now either media master express or pro is going to run it I am currently running Pro. The a big advantage that, and the reason that I went with Pro over Master or Express, excuse me, is that Media Master Express has all the great features of Media Master that I want. It's got ClingNet. It's got some really cool video mixing options. I can do DMX control. Pro takes the DMX to a whole different level. But the most important part is Pro has the video mapper that you see in Grand VJ XT. So if you want to video map and clean net map on the same software, then Media Master is or Pro is going to be your friend. So now we're going to open up Media Master Pro and we are going to open up our clean net mapper. 
it's going to look identical. There it is right there. Okay, so we have the first one here. Now, it's not lighting up. We have to go into output and we go into our test pattern. Okay, so here we go. So we have this one and we already know that that guy's upside down. So there it is. Okay. Now this one has the grid already activated and it snaps. If you saw how easily that snapped there. Our next one over here again, Good. this one. Yes. And now we're just going to go from here to here. So it's pretty much exactly the same way, except it's not going to automatically load. Now I can go into, uh, let's see, here we go. Where am I? There we go. I can go ahead and send the mapping, but I'd rather save it. That way, in case I screw anything up, or if I decide that I want to use it with Media Master uh, Express on my other computer, I can do that. We're just going to go ahead and call this square. And we're done. Now I'm going to go to Media Master. We're going to go to our preferences. Again, I'm running Pro, so that's you might see something different there. Klingnet, I'm going to have it activated. We're going to go and open up our square.kln file. Done. So now my output, I can choose my video output or I can choose Klingnet. I'm just going to bring that up and there it is right there. Of course, I can speed it up. I can slow it down if I wanted to, if I want to do some neat effects. See, that looks a little bit squished, and that's because on position I have thin. So whenever I have just the panels going in one long row, that's automatically set to do that. So I'm going to have full screen. And on Media Master, I'm just going to go into my – I hit Apple Key T, and we're going to do hashtag – and we'll do my, my wife's favorite hashtag, just kidding. That's hashtag blessed, right? And uh, there it is right there. Oh, it's still on HHS. I got to move over here. There we go. The, the cool thing about it is, again, there's only four panels. And the GoPro is not that far away from it. I mean, I know it looks like it is, but it really isn't. It's maybe about maybe a foot and a half up from the panels. It's just got a very wide angle lens on it, but only a foot and a half. And this is very easy to read. So when you're on the other side of a gym gymnasium at a you know school event, or if you're going to set this up at a club, even though these are low res panels, the text on them reads really nicely. Let's bring down that. So again, there's the real cool text that you saw, or we can have that with this here. Or we can maybe just do like lightning. But of course, Media Master, Media Master, whether it's Pro or Express, has a much higher price tag than LED or LED Master. So if you're doing something simple, if you want something that looks DJ friendly, or if you're just going to be with Klingnet only, LED Master is definitely what you want. If you're going to get into video. Go ahead, make the dive into Media Master, and if you don't know if you're going to do video mapping yet, or maybe it's on your budget, get Express. You can always upgrade to Pro, and you can do it directly from the program. Now, just to show you a couple more, I guess, again, it is, it's pretty high res. I mean, we're not going to be playing photos or videos, right? There's some photos, and I mean, yeah, you can see the skyline, sort of, but you would not be able to tell with four panels. Now, if you have 64 panels, yeah, you can do some really cool stuff there. But you can imagine, I mean, again, when you shape these around and you make something really neat as far as, you know, what you can do with it, that this suddenly becomes a viable option for video DJs to have a real live facade that, you know, nobody else has. So again, my name is Arnaldo Offerman with Arceus Video Manuals. Please make sure you guys like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.